Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be working on this picture that I created called Deja Vu. It's inspired by the Olivia Rodrigo song Deja Vu because I am literally obsessed with sour. It is so good. I'm going to be using these Aquafine watercolor inks um, and actually I'm going to be using quite a bit of mixed media but they're all going to be these Daler and Rowney inks to create this piece. This actually was a collaboration with Daler and Rowney over for their social media. So if you'd like to hear more about how I actually created this piece, the techniques that I used and how I use mixed media, then I will link all those videos in the description box below because they are gonna have a different voiceover than this that's gonna focus more on the actual creation of the piece. So definitely check that out if you are looking for tips and ideas and tricks as to how to actually use these supplies. But for this video for my channel, I wanted to not only show you the piece that I worked on, but I really wanted to talk about something that has been on my mind for a while and it's something that really struck me during the creation of this piece and I've kind of have it, had it in my mind for a while that this is what I wanted to talk about when I showed you this piece because I think that a lot of times I've talked about this in some videos I've talked I've touched on various subjects I've taught touched on you know the awkward teenage phase I have touched on you know um you know, so I've touched on certain things with making mistakes and pushing through certain things in art, but I've never sat down and done a whole kind of like video on it. And I do want to do some kind of follow up video where I talk more about all the different mistakes that you can make and various ways to fix those mistakes. But this video um, is very much going to be about the mindset that you have when you're painting or when you're creating, because I found that that is one of the most important things that you can have, especially when you're starting to get stressed while you're creating art. So during the process of creating this painting, I made a f quite a few actual like mistakes. So I was very happy with the sketch of the painting. I was very happy with the concept that I'd created. I thought that I'd done the sketch really well. Um, sketching is usually really hard for me. Uh, my painting is kind of where I feel comfortable. And so I was feeling really good when I started this piece. And then a couple things started happening. The first is that I started this piece with a decent bit of watercolor and wet ink, and I had chosen to use mixed media paper. The mixed media paper is great paper. It's really sturdy and it's really strong, but it's not the same as watercolor paper and watercolor does behave a little bit differently on it. And when I first started using it, I like panicked because I felt like the watercolor was just behaving in a way that I wasn't used to. I didn't fully understand the best way to use it. And I, I just was like, oh, why didn't I use watercolor paper for this? Like I started getting really worried that the paper was going to get damaged. I was worried that the ink was going to sink through in like a strange way. I was worried about building it up and I was just starting to get really panicky about having used this paper. Then as I continued, I started having issues with Oh gosh, was it mixing colors? Maybe it wasn't mixing colors. I think it was, th there was something that I was really starting to panic about. I think it might have been overall the loss of, I remember what it was. It was the loss of the sketch underneath. As I started building up on the painting, I felt like I was having a harder and harder time seeing the sketch underneath. And this piece was so complex in terms of the layering of color over color that I was really struggling with keeping track of where everything was supposed to be and how everything was supposed to layer together. And I was really starting to question myself. I was like, can I do this? Oh, and I was having an issue with the color where I felt like I kept making everything too dark. I felt like things needed to be more pastel in some areas. And it wasn't that I couldn't make those colors. It's just that I felt like I, I kept missing um, the mark on, on that first couple, couple tries, I hadn't figured out, I guess like the dry down because generally paints will dry down to be a slightly darker, slightly lighter color than when you put them on. So it was just this whole thing. And, and as these questions kept coming, as I kept questioning myself, doubting myself, um, the piece became harder and harder to work on. I was getting frustrated. I was getting nervous and I just kind of had to sit down and tell myself, you need to trust yourself and you need to trust the process. I've talked about, like I said, I've talked about the awkward teenage stage before and that's kind of when you're working on your piece and it's like midway through and it looks really ugly and you're like, can I do this? And then it's like, no, 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 it's just a teenager. It's going through puberty. Like it's going to blossom. It's going to be fine. This is something even deeper than that. This is the integral questioning of your skills as an artist and your ability to pull this off. Um, and 
that when that happens halfway through a piece, especially when it's a piece that you're excited about, a concept that you're excited about, in this case, I was happy with the sketch and I was like, no, I'm going to lose the sketch. I don't want to do this all over again. Um, that can really get in your way. And if you start to lose trust in yourself and in your own abilities, um, that will get in your way and that will affect the outcome um, of your artwork. And I think it's really important to, when you're experiencing this situation, to take a step back and um, and remember to trust yourself as an artist. Even if you don't know how you're going to figure it out, trust that you will be able to. Trust that you have the critical thinking skills, the knowledge of um, art, the knowledge of artistic principles, all your own experience that you can draw off of. Trust that you have that inside of you and that you are going to pull it off. That is the first thing that you need to do is you need to calm down and trust yourself because it can really escalate into this panicky situation where you're like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Like I'm the worst artist ever. Like, what am I even doing? Like it just becomes a very negative place and you need to not freak out. Like, you know, when you're in an emergency situation and then there's some people that just panic and they make it worse. Um, or like if you're on the highway and you're trying to change lanes, you know, when, if you uh, when you're first starting to learn how to drive, if you start panicking, if you get really stressed out and, and nervous about that, then um, when you change lanes, that can be more dangerous. It's a very similar thing in art, obviously not life or death consequences, but you have to not panic. When things start feeling like they're not going the way you want them to go, if you start panicking, that is going to make it 10 times worse. You need to take a te- deep breath, Stay calm and trust the process. Art is always going to have a point. Generally, almost every piece I've ever created has a point where you are going to doubt yourself or you're going to doubt the piece. And in some cases, that's, you know, something that you can push through. And in other cases, like what I was experiencing with this, this was another thing. Do you see how wildly the nose and the mouth are off off center from each other on the left? And I had to then go and fix that. And that was really frustrating. It was a whole lot of frustration. Um, but I pushed through and I, I was only able to do that by trusting myself as an artist, looking back at older pieces that I've created that I'm really proud of or thinking back of those pieces and being like, no, you did that. Like your two hands did that. So think about a piece that you've created that you're proud of. Um, think about things that you've accomplished in the past, uh, pieces that you've pushed through and that you've really liked. And remember that if you don't like the piece at the end, it's going to be okay. It's very stressful, especially if you're creating something for uh, work. I mean, this was a piece that I was creating for work. This was a piece that I was creating for another company. I was showing off their products. Um, I, I mean, I use these products literally every single time I make art pretty much at this point. Like I mostly just use these mixed media inks. Like I use the watercolor and the acrylic inks on top. It's, oh, I'm just in love with it. But um it really came down to me questioning my skills as an artist. And and that's not something you want to be doing when you're working on something that is for someone else, you know? And it can be frustrating because you don't want to waste time or whatever. But essentially, um, you know, if you haven't heard of the sunk, uh, I think it's called the sunk cost theory or the gambler's fallacy, basically it goes something like the idea of like, when you've put time and money into something, you can't get that back period. So like if you're gambling, if you've spent $20, then it might be easier for you to walk away than if you've gambled $100 and lost $100 because you're like, oh, I already put $100 in. It's also something that you see happen in relationships where people are like, oh, but I've like been with them for five years and that's a waste of time if I break up with them. No, it's not. That time is gone whether you break up with that person or not. That time is gone for this art whether you like it or not. And what you have to focus on is the learning experience that you had and what you can take from that piece and what you can do better next time. So try trust that it's going to work out but if it doesn't as shitty and frustrating as that can be it's going to be okay you will do better next time and you will be faster next time and you will improve and you will learn from this and it's all about trusting your own skills as an artist and trusting that you can learn from those experiences. You know, so much of art is trust. Trust of yourself is 
so huge because you can't create something if you're not like invested in it I feel like and if you start losing trust in your ability to do something you start questioning if this is something that you should be emotionally invested in right because you don't want to be disappointed in yourself or hurt and then you start distancing yourself you walk away and that piece is never finished um that's okay to happen sometimes but when you're really loving something push through I trusted myself and this was one of the favorite pieces I've ever made. And it was a panic all the way up until the end because at this point I was like, hell yeah, I'm stoked. I love this piece. Like I fixed a decent amount of the issues that I was having. They're not all perfectly fixed, but I'm happy with them. And then I decided, I decided when I took off the tape because I didn't like the edges and I felt like a little had teared, I, I, I I cut off the edges and then I mounted it on a board that I painted silver. And while I think this looks awesome and it came out so good, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first did this, I misplaced it. I had to peel it off because, oh no, I didn't misplace it. There was a bubble underneath. So I had to peel it off halfway. And I was so scared that I was going to rip this painting. It was terrifying. And I had to trust myself. And this is how it turned out. I am so happy. I hope that you guys liked this video and I hope that it inspired you to trust yourself and trust the process. You are an artist. Um, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more about the process of how I actually created this video, um, this piece and then tips on how I use these different inks, definitely check out the links in the description box for all of the work that I did for Dayla Rowney where you can go hear more about that. Um, And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.